Question number three presents us with the Hertzsprung Russell diagram and instructs us to do several things to it. So, firstly, we need to complete the labels for the regions on the Hertzsprung Russell diagram. This is worth four marks. This bound down the middle is called the main sequence. It is where our sun is, it is where all middle aged stars spend most of their lives. Next up here, we have this region, which features stars that emit more luminosity, more energy, than, than many stars on the main sequence, but are cooler. This is because they're much larger, they are red giants. They are red because they're cooler, and giants because they have expanded. Larger stars become even larger than red giants, become red supergiants. These are huge stars that, although relatively cool, and hence glowing red, they emit huge amounts of light because of their enormous size. Dwarfs. White dwarfs are just the remnants of the centre of the star. So they are bright white from all the heat that's still stored in them, although they're no longer fusing, the star is now dead. And they're very small because they've cast off their outer layers. Although they are hotter than red giants, they emit less energy because they are much, much smaller. Part B. Look across on the Hertzsprung Russell diagram to show the position of the sun. Well, it tells us here the position, the luminosity of the sun is 1. So we need to draw a line across 1, and that is where we will find our sun on the main sequence. Part C. At the end of their lives, most stars cool down and emit less and less energy. Draw an arrow on the Hertzsprung Russell diagram to show the direction the star, marked by an asterisk, would move as it cools down and emits less energy. Well, it will remain a white dwarf, eventually cooling to become a black dwarf when it's giving out no light. If it's cooling down, it must be moving to the right, emitting less energy, less luminosity, it must be moving down. So we need to draw an arrow that is diagonally down and to the right.